<laughs> I mean, I'm with everything else, bro. You know what I'm saying? All that, the the peas and the plosives. Bet. The birds and the bees. Well, we live, man. Carrots and the peas. <laughs> we live, and I'm staring directly at myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I done did all the that first, adjusting, bro. The first thing, look, this is what I'm about to do, bro. Booyah. That make it real. Why? Now I'm just looking at the Mandalorian. <laughs> it's not going to change anything, bro. Because. <laughs> We're supposed to be talking to each other, bro. Yeah, no, we are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just And just, the people. Okay. Not them people, this people. Because they could tell when you're looking at the side screen. Bro. I'm still, they they, they going to think I'm blind. Because I'm going to just be like. <laughs> <laughs> I look cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On my mama. On my hood, I look fly. I look good. I actually Yo, probably need so, that up to monitor that to make sure there ain't nothing crazy happening during the duration of this. Because yeah. it be done our luck. That just stopped somewhere <laughs> and we done did the most awesome podcast. It stopped recorded. Yeah. Nigga, that, you know, pull that out, bro. It'll be all right. We can glance over there from time to time, bro. No, we can't. All right, but look. <laughs> the temptation is there. You want to do it now, don't you? He's like, yeah, I'm fresh. It's, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I look good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying This is Mediterranean salmon You know what I mean Pink I <laughs> My boy got the volcanic Hawaiian You know what I'm saying <laughs> Crushed ice pink mm-hmm. You know what I mean But uh What's good bro Himalayan rock salt dog Get it right Yeah Hey <laughs> So we We not gonna go with the name We thought about before Um Well the first one was what Um It was uh Unscripted Unscripted I mean we could go with unscripted But there's a few unscripteds So I mean we can just add ourselves to the To the list (laughs) The unscripted podcast And they're like which one nigga Uh, (laughs) Uh, There's better names out there That's what this should be about Is figuring out a name for the podcast Nigga this is the CJ and Spence show bro (laughs) (laughs) Nigga All right. (laughs) Let me let me put some rules down now, nigga. This jank cost me about six hundred dollars, <laughs> and it was about to be gone, bro. You know, nigga, we put my pop filter back on, bro. Just, <laughs> nigga, you gonna? I'm just gonna be really good at swallowing. Pause. Pause. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, mm-hmm. <laughs> boy, you. Why don't you have that sound up here? Hey, yo, <laughs> that's hey. You need to find Nims and put them up here. Nims, we ain't paying you nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because we broke, we don't got it, bro. But we gonna use your voice anyway, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'll come to Coney Island and get it from the source. You understand what I'm saying? If you outside, you outside, baby. I'm trying to pull up on you. What's up? <laughs> how you ask for stuff aggressively? Because that's how you got to talk to New Yorkers, bro. <laughs> they don't understand any other way, bro. <laughs> you got you to gotta speak the language of the people, dog. <laughs> Nims will punch me in my throat, bro. <laughs> Yo, Nims will punch me in my throat like this, bro. <laughs> 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 he didn't learn hey, what's from. wrong with you? Like, Nims, I just wanted your voice. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't learn it from a kung fu master that, <laughs> from the Bronx. But, yeah, um, bro. Well, yeah, so un, unscripted is, is definitely not going to work. All right, so unscripted is not working. Nah. Um, um <laughs> nigga said, um. <laughs> are you playing? I'm the, about to just be like. Kamikaze <laughs> faith, nigga. Okay. I feel like that's controversy. Yeah, jihad, bro. That, <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be on every watch list in America. All bro. these words. This is number one. We gotta understand that <laughs> all these words that we saying, there's no monetization happening in the future at all. For you, I'm gonna cut you <laughs> Not out. Not from bro. YouTube. For you, no, for you, I'm gonna be monetized. <laughs> I'm gonna just cut you out, bro. I'm gonna make sure I'm monetized. <clears throat> Yeah, bro. We're gonna How be... you gonna be able to be talking to each other and you talking to this and that the whole time, bro? How you know I wasn't gonna talk to you? Because I know you. You were staring at yourself, the camera. <laughs> Look, you nah, got multitask, bro. I, I am multitasking, man. <laughs> Look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me let me turn my mic a little bit, bro. Thank you. Let me angle myself. Yes. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because I know. Because you was looking at that too. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all know how it be, man. When you got OBS pulled up. Boy, who you think watching this? They say you know who it be. They going to be like, OBS? Dog, YouTube, YouTubers watch other YouTubers. That's fair. <laughs> they be like, ah, oh, he's not doing it right. <laughs> Yo, so speaking of OBS, bro. Okay. Since you're talking about other YouTubers, what did you have to do to get all this set up, bro? Whoo, 
Ooh. Because I feel like this would help somebody that might be trying to figure this out. I can't if they help made it you. this far in the video. As a matter of <laughs> fact, this is going to be a cut clip and we're going to put this out to help the people, bro. Because we didn't have this, bro. Hold bro, on. Before I you can't answer that question, you, bro. bro. Before you answer this, no. I'm, we won't talk about this, bro. Where were all of the people Then we were trying to engineer, bro, and didn't want to tell us anything, dog? They didn't want to give us no help. Nope. They was lying to us, bro. Yep. Talking about our stuff couldn't be mixed and mastered. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know who you are, too. You know. You know who you are. If you're you know watching you this, are. yo. Forget you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't forgot about that, yo. You trifling. Because you could have helped us. You know what I'm saying? And I feel the way I felt about it. You know what I'm saying? I still feel the way I feel about it. Yo. You trifling. You could have helped us. You know what I'm saying? I hate that, bro. People don't want to help you, bro. Nah. But now we live in the glory age, bro. The gl man, listen, so yo, everybody. You can to be eight years old. It's eight mm -hmm. year old producers that's out here better than <laughs> dudes mm -hmm. that's fifty, bro. Facts, bro. Crazy. I'm just like, look. So tell them. I mean, I don't. I don't know if it's gonna help. Oh, <laughs> I it thought it was help. gonna help, but look, the way you, <laughs> the way you responded, said, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> look, I went to a lot of YouTube videos. That's what happened. It was a lot of YouTube videos of, okay, download OBS, all right? I, f I started off streaming, playing game, like gaming and all of that. So that was an adventure, you know what I'm saying? Trying to download all these different scenes and all that it slows down your computer. You know what I mean? Then I started using, um, what is it, OBS Elements or something like that, where everything was online. So that was fire. But now, since I'm not streaming, all I have to do is hit the record button. It's gravy. I don't have a lot of scenes and all that other stuff yet. So just get you an OBS tutorial, get you a mic, get you an interface, and go in, yo. And when stuff stop working, Google it. That's the best <laughs> advice. <laughs> That's the best advice I got, yo. And you will find answers after hours and hours and hours of research. Hey, but that's real though, bro. Honestly. Hey, people always <laughs> be like, yo, your camera, yo, what type of camera you use? Yo, your stuff, it, the quality look good. What mic you use? <laughs> I'd be like, brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother. I'll tell you. They'd be like, oh, that's that's a little expensive. Be like, you playing. <laughs> you playing, bro. <laughs> I mean, you can always get a USB mm -hmm. mic. Plug it straight into the computer. You know what I mean? Start from the bottom, bro. Hey, you know what I mean? Bro. Don't be like me. Like, <laughs> oh, we have problems. You know what I mean? I see things that cost three, four thousand dollars, and I'd be like, that must be better because it's more expensive. <laughs> it, I don't know it's why. A, it's a long, dark road. It is. <laughs> to go down, it, bro. It gets deep. Hey, but dog, that, um, I heard the Yeti mic is solid, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, boy. as far as USB mics are concerned. Yeah, um, does Justin have a Yeti mic? He, he got he one. Does. He does. I, I think he had one, but I think he changed it. Did he? But I don't know if it was a USB, though. I'm pretty... Mm -hmm. Don't give me the line. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, man, shout out my man, Justin, man. Eddie Mitch, you know Eddie who you Mitch. are. Eddie Mitch, what's up, baby? Yeah, you probably don't one of the only people that can come sit in one of these chairs, man. You know what I'm saying? Come holler at us, bro. Mm -hmm. But anyways, bro. Uh yeah, so who are we, bro? <laughs> what are we doing here? Why are we sitting here <laughs> with, with different shades of pink? I know, <laughs> right? Well, to know who we are, we have to know who we were. <laughs> Don't you? When people start off stuff like that, it's like, bro, you're not that deep, bro. Shut up, bro. Just, just talk, bro. Like, look, man, we were Christian rappers, bro. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> we we <laughs> we just lost everybody that was that used to follow us. That was like, hmm, let's tune in to see what they up to. Okay, well, <laughs> let's 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 start here then. So, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, uh, we started off in boy, I don't even. I guess you could say that we started off doing Christian rap, um, like right around two thousand and eight, um. We met each other in 2009. Yep. Yeah. So we were doing like hardcore, like Christian rap in the church. Like we was, we was outside with it. You know what I mean? Um, but to make an incredibly long story short, basically we, uh, we stepped away from the establishment 
of the church. We didn't step away from God, didn't step away from Jesus. That never changed. If anything, the relationship got stronger. Yeah. But as far as the establishment was concerned, we kind of backed away from a little bit because um, we kind of saw some things. Some things were pointed out to us and it was just kind of like, I don't, we just need to step away for a little bit. Yeah, you know how people talk about deconstruction? It wasn't a decon. You know, people be talking about deconstruction. They be getting rid of Jesus, <laughs> God. They be throwing it all out, bro. <laughs> Sin, like, <laughs> like, bro, like, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> that's called falling away, my brother. But um, nah, basically, we kind of had to disconstruct, uh, I, I, like you said, the establishment of just church culture. Yeah. Apart from what's like biblical. Basically, just like, you know, a lot of traditions that man came up with that may not have been bad, you know what I mean? But it just continued to stretch through time as times were changing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we kind of hit like a ceiling. Yeah. And people really ain't know what to do with us. And <laughs> we were available. But, you know what I mean? It was just like, well, we're just going to follow God. And it's it's been a... <laughs> Been in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah. So a note about the wilderness. Like it was, we honestly felt like it was God leading us out. Like we were just like, okay, well, you know, we just, we outside, we, we, in, we on this adventure and probably for the past, what is 2023 now? So probably for the past, what, maybe 10, 11 years, really for the past about 11 yeah. years, bro. It's yeah. just been lesson after lesson, after lesson, after lesson, Life. growing up, <laughs> Growing, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, getting uh, sliced, operated on, yeah, <laughs> God chastising, <laughs> exposing a bunch of <laughs> dumb stuff was done in the midst of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mistakes, yeah. all of that, bro. Everything that you probably <laughs> did and you can think of, yeah, <laughs> all of that. Yeah, you know it saying? was it was it was a lot and it was intense. Yeah, so we did some stuff musically throughout the years. Um, but it was nothing was really like nothing was really major yeah, um, or pushed. For yeah. Real, for real. So like if you saw us like pop up every here and there, it was really just us just kind of like doing stuff for the sake of doing it. Like, you know, there was never really there was never really a solid plan behind it. Yeah. Like um, the passion was still there. Very much. But at the same time, like it just things just didn't fall into place for real, for real. Yeah. No matter what we tried. And, you know, life happens, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, yeah, like all of that transformation. So so some of you might know that I put out an album, Dirty 30, right? And I want to talk about that for a second. Okay. So the thing is, is that prior to while we were just kind of, you know, away and everything like that, I was just like, yo, I'm not going to do anything. Like, I'm not going to push any music. I'm not really going to do any real stuff until God is like, yo, this is what you do, right? Yeah. So I was like, okay. And to my surprise... He gave me the idea for 3030. Now keep in mind, up until this point, it's like Christian rap, hardcore, yeah. Christ, Christ, Jesus, Christ, crucified. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what it was. The, and <laughs> boy, almost had it tattooed on your our foreheads, bro. Basically. Like that's what it was. And then God was like, nope. <laughs> and I was like, what you mean, nah? <laughs> like, nah. And it was just like, you know, I need you to to step away from that. In that manner, in that way, and so explain that, please, Charles. Because <laughs> <laughs> you just in the back. yeah, you just can't say you know God told you to step away from Christian. Well, God, <laughs> God told you to stop doing Christian rap. <laughs> what the reprobate mind it fell away. See, this is the elect. That's, that's what they talk about, bro. The Bible talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, it be. bro. Okay, so to, I guess to provide some context, like the the passion was there. Right, we were you. We, we were super passionate, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Aggression, hella aggressive. We, we had, we, yeah, we had a point to prove. <laughs> yeah, and it was, and that's a whole another topic, but we can get into that. Yeah, and it was cool because, like, you know, the strength of your conviction is like, okay, you know, people seeing this, like, okay, they're believers, da 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 da. da. But mm -hmm. the problem was, it was the best way I can put it. It was more so the idea of god or the idea of jesus versus who he really was yeah right and we were more perpetuating the idea versus who he was yeah because we weren't encompassing the totality of what the relationship was yeah right you know what i'm saying because we both come from like i'm not i'm not trying to sit here and be like oh i'm from the hood i'm from the bottom da, da, da. but like i was in very combative environments you know yeah. what i'm saying and it's like 
so that was kind of a baseline for what it is that I knew. So I was like, well, in the world, it, it was just combative. So I'm mm-hmm. like, well, God said do this for him. So I guess it's the same over here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It is not the same over here. <laughs> so basically, like, when he said that, I realized the reason why he said that over time, like, was not to necessarily step away from the message or what is it he's doing, but just understand that it's a it's a big world. And yeah. it's like, you know, the goal is to reach people. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's like, there is a specific way that he wants me to reach people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the way that I was going about it before was not right for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not, and that's not to say that it's like, you know, you can't be, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, Christian, 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 yeah. Christian. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, what you're called to, but. It's like God had to basically show you like there's different, there's, I've called people to different soundscapes of how to do this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of how I want you pre- to present art, all of that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, mm-hmm. I did Dirty 30. Okay. And Dirty 30 was, um, it was just basically stepping outside the box, talking about different topics like love, yeah. you know, wanting to, you know, my aspirations, you know what I'm saying? Wanting to attain money, everything like that. Yeah. Um, also, you know, just a little bit, you know, just, just flexing lyric a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do too much. You know, just, it was a, it was a more commercial project. You know what I'm saying? Now, anybody yeah. that knows me, y'all know that I'm a mixtape rapper. But yeah, he, he, yeah. I mean, what, 25 8? I'll, that's what I was going to say. So 25 8 is probably <laughs> the only track up there where it's like, it's lyrical, lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, you was going off the whole joint, though. But yeah, 25 8 is like one of the hardest tracks up there. Yeah. But you know, it's just it's, it's sprinkles. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Just, sprinkles. You know, just let and them it was, know. It was new for me. So I was like, you know, I was like, this is different territory. I've never, yeah. since I've been a believer, I've never written like this before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's kind of like feeling it out, seeing what's going on, all yeah, that. Yeah. And, you know, the hindsight is 2020. I know mm-hmm. that it was, I know it was God saying, hey, get accustomed to it, get used to it. You know, here you can do it, put it out. But you know me, bro. So one of my problems is I have to do everything to the extreme, bro. <laughs> and <laughs> I was trying to do so much with this project. Like, y'all, I I was going through marketing companies. Like, I was, we were shooting videos. Like, I was 10 toes in it, stressing myself all the way out for absolutely no reason. <laughs> do you know why I was stressing myself out for no reason? <laughs> Do you know why, Spencer, <laughs> D-Faith? Do you know why? Because why somebody in China ate a bat <laughs> the very next year, bro. <laughs> and my project ain't going nowhere, bro. Because yeah. we was on lockdown for two years, bro. <laughs> I spent all that money, bro. <laughs> for somebody to eat a bat and ruin my life, bro. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, bro. Man. So I, I digress, but that is... Hey, but it got me through. <laughs> hey, I was rocking with oh my goodness. <laughs> listening to that joint Dolo <laughs> <laughs> in the crib. Couldn't go nowhere. Just <laughs> right, dirty thirty. So all seventeen people that heard my album, I appreciate it. All seventeen and a half. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah. So at, once that was done, um, you know the pandemic hit. I was still trying to figure stuff out. You know, we kind of lost momentum. Um, I was, so I honestly, I got lazy, Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I was just like, yo, we had the crib. I just got laid off from my job, but you know, I had that severance package, corporate America, baby. So I was sitting pretty. And then T daddy was like, oh, we get an extra 600. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? T daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Major Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, he paying me 1400. I'm going to call him T daddy. <laughs> what you got for me today, T daddy? <laughs> Yo, Listen, boy, you're wild. Look, bro. Boy, you're off the chain, Hey, man. feel how you want to feel about him, bro. <laughs> I'm not endorsing him, but he sent me that 1400 though, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say I'm not appreciative. <laughs> what he did on his own time is his business. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> T-Daddy made sure that my pockets were straight. <laughs> he was like, go ahead and take a little bit of some of this. Get yourself something. <laughs> He's like, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh my God! So T Daddy, <laughs> hey, you going to jail, bro? He ain't, he ain't coming back, bro. Man, he ain't going to jail. 
Man. My man's <laughs> look, he's sleep he's slippery and slopey, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And I'm like, look, I'm like, <laughs> can he be president again so I get some more money? <laughs> I don't care about other stuff, bro. Like, yo, Trump, is you going to send more stimmies, bro? <laughs> Inflation, bro. Bless me with this stimmy. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you send all this money to Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> send this money to me, bro. I'm like, y'all can spare a few dollars, yo. But that, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. So, again, during the pandemic, <laughs> I was getting money. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I made I made a lot of money during the pandemic, which was contributing to the problem, bro. I made yeah. a lot of money and I was comfortable, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So between the money I was making, getting comfortable, when I got comfortable, I wasn't really pursuing music like I should have been because, you know, Dirty 30, I was like, well, this is a dub. This is done. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'll get back to this when I get back to it. Did a few songs, but then after that, I was just kind of like, eh, yeah. I'm chilling. And... Yeah, it was... We'll be circling back to that, though. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's some music videos that we owe that project. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's for sure. I was talking about that the other day, bro. Like, we're going we gonna to talk about yeah. that maybe in another segment. Or that another episode. Oh, yeah. That's 100% happening, bro. As a matter of fact, I was listening to 25.8, bro. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We ain't letting this go. We're going to come back to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to come back to yeah. it, bro. But, you know, again, got lazy, got comfortable. Um, ended up uh, having my first kid during the pandemic, which is an experience in itself. COVID, so, baby. Yes. Man, I've, COVID does something different to these babies, yo. These babies ain't, <laughs> they're not the same as regular babies, yo. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Zaza. You know what I'm saying? That's my boo-boo. Yeah. But um, God daddy loves you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll see this. And... <laughs> Except, yo, so my, obviously this is, you know, Godfather slash uncle to my daughter. Yeah. And she Uncle God Daddy, uncle baby. God Daddy. And she is not <laughs> impressed. <laughs> she is not. She's, she's terrified. Yeah. It's it's his fault though. It's not. I blame him. We brought her around. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, who was this? <laughs> mm. <laughs> who is this other light skinned nigga, bro? <laughs> She was like, oh I don't like God. it. I don't like it. Bro. But it's all good though. We we gonna we, we gonna get there, bro. Yeah, we you working on it. Look, she see all these buttons here. You know what I'm saying? She ain't allowed in here unless <laughs> she need an adult. Bro, she be acting like she don't need an adult. I'm like, little nigga, you need an adult. <laughs> I am your adult. We you you're not even two yet. Yeah. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Moving on through the timeline. Like, we that was part of so that was kind of part of it leads back up to why, you know, we're here now and then, yeah. you know, obviously I know you got a lot to say, but like it, it was one of those things where, you know, the Bible talks about God chastising those who he loves. Yeah. Whoo, boy, when I got COVID, God showed me a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah. I was in the crib by myself for like, it was somewhere between like 10 and 14 days, bro. Man. Just by myself, bro. I'm an extrovert. I'm in the house by myself, bro. <laughs> By my yeah, lonesome, bro. Literal hell. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. Literally. It's it was so bad, bro. I went to the beach to people watch, bro. <laughs> because I was like, I can't be around nobody. I gotta stay, you know, keep my distance from people. But I'm yeah. just like, bro, I can't smell nothing. I can't taste nothing. What's going on, bro? <laughs> it was miserable, dog. But I realized at that point, it's like, okay, bro, like you gotta you gotta tighten up. And God is just basically that's your last chance, bro. And I was like, God, I got it. Yeah. So then after that, um, you know, we uh ended up selling the house. Um, you know, we moved out to Harborview and I was I was not a fan. I was like, I, there's no part of me that wants to be out here, bro. <laughs> Cause it's out there, but you know, uh we, we all gotta collect the word after a while, after a few months saying that we had three months. And that three months was basically God saying that you it's time for you to go ahead and do what I told you to do. It's Otherwise, about that time, baby. <laughs> what yeah. you been waiting for? Yeah. What you been praying for? Exactly. Yeah, for real. And if uh, we ain't do what we need to do by the end of that three months, yeah. that ship was going to sail. And yeah. But it's cool though, man, because it feels right. You know, it mm -hmm. feels right, man. This this is the appointed time. Mm -hmm. We thought that the appointed time was 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> we knew 15. 16, but 17, though? We knew 17. Okay, so a note <laughs> about that. Technically, at least two of them years could have been. 
But the first time niggas lost their minds and we couldn't we couldn't accomplish the mission <laughs> the first time. The second time niggas lost their minds. <laughs> we couldn't accomplish the mission because I got a raise. So I was like, yeah, bro. Word. Instead of investing in the career, what I do buy a Beamer, bro. We ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to talk about it, man. Missteps and mistakes. A point in time, bro. <laughs> God got a plan. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And basically, uh, you know, basically God just helped us to be a lot more well-rounded and and to know how to approach things, people, situations a lot better. Yeah, because I would be lying if I say that I was not at fault for a lot of things that happened in the past for not knowing how to say things, not knowing how to talk to people. Yeah not understanding that people process things differently like yeah. leadership baby yeah and failures all across the board <laughs> mm-hmm. like what i what i'm good at is strategizing planning you know like <clears throat> implementation hey we can get this done management hey what do you need i'll make it happen yeah. all things that don't involve emotions when emotions get involved i get real confused <laughs> and i just lock up cuz i'm like Feelings. Um, <laughs> ooh, yeah. it's like, all right, yeah, uh, <laughs> you'll be okay. Exactly. And he's like, he hates me. He doesn't care about me, yo. He he hates my guy. You know what? I hate CJ. <laughs> I, I I understand. But catch him up, bro. Like, where you been at, bro? What's what's been going? What got you to this point? Where bro? I've been, um, man. So I probably, <laughs> I I would say like. Things probably hit me the hardest because I was so mission driven. Like I saw the ending <laughs> when, when we were just beginning in like 2010 and 11. Like in my mind, we were going to die for Jesus. <laughs> and so it was going to be a glorious, like, you know how people, you ever heard of the saying like a star burns the brightest? Before it dies. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was going to be that. You know, I I was like, well, this is what it is. We're going to rap. People going to like it, love it. They're going to get saved. Other people is going to hate it and try to kill us for it because they don't agree with us. And that's just what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't happen like that. Still might. But that's besides the point. You know what I'm saying? I don't think God did all of this work in us for it to happen that way that I was seeing it. But yeah, basically had to make us well-rounded, but use a lot of situations, man. Um, You know, marriage happened. You know what I'm saying? That was awesome. Um, A a new addition to the group. We're a group, by the way. I don't know if we mentioned that for those that don't know us. Yeah. This has been more so for the people that know us kind of are a little bit familiar, but yes, for those who don't know, we're in a group. And Long then, version is Eternity. Short version is ETE. Yeah. It's catchier, sounds better, stands up more, sounds less like R&B group. Faux deep, baby. Yep. Which is a crazy dynamic. So basically, is my boy here, Kamikaze Charles. Gang, gang. Me, D-Faith. My wife, Mashana Marie. And the lovely... Oh, I thought you were going... I was sipping. I was like, <laughs> you was on the road, bro. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> say her name, say her name. Lovely Theraflow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We... Two married couples in a group. Yeah, and it's baby. awesome. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. We get to sleep with the band every day. <laughs> 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 it's excellent. Facts. Facts. But yeah, man. Um... Yeah, job situations, like, basically, like, you know, I knew I was going to live a life because of the name, <laughs> D Faith, Dispenser of Faith, that, uh, yeah, God was going to put that to the test <laughs> multiple times. I mean, he does that with everybody, but with me specifically, he like, yeah, you going to earn that. <laughs> you want to dispense faith? <laughs> then you're going to earn that name and people going to be able to see from afar like, yeah, he got faith for real because <laughs> he ain't got no job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but God been providing though. That's for real. God been providing, man. You know what I mean? And just uh, sharpening the vision. Um, me musically, you know, like, like he said, it was just like really 
I felt I had a point to prove as far as being a Christian rapper. Because I don't know if y'all remember during that time period, when it came to Christian rap, like, for a while, like, there was, like, a big movement, and then there was, like... And that time period, I'm going to cut you off, that time period was about 2009 to about 2012 or 13, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, around 2000 and... Nine, um, I would say Lecrae, 116, mm. all those guys, like, they was getting it in, you know what I'm saying? So they was, like, really, like, char- like charging the movement, you know what I'm saying? Like, leading the way, basically. And we was trying to follow up, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but every time, like, when we made music, it was real aggressive, you know what I'm saying? It was borderline, like, it was cool, but... It could be offensive as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, yo, basically, we rapped in a way where it was like, kind of like, because we are Christians, like, we're better. You know what I'm saying? It was an elitist mentality. Yeah. And it came from like, you know, people saying that Christian rappers was whack and corny and all that stuff. So we was like, oh, okay. Well, that's how you feel. Battle us then, like. <laughs> no, we really was outside, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We dropping mixtapes. We like, we yeah. do this. You know what I'm saying? We were super duper outside. Yeah, you like, know what I'm saying? a holdover from not being <laughs> saved. It's like, we won't going to take nothing from nobody else. Yeah, and basically we just wanted to be accepted, you know what I'm saying, amongst our peers in the hip hop realm, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, our abilities and stuff like that. And if you weren't going to accept us, it's like, well... <laughs> you on a hit list then. And that's how it was. But uh, that wasn't the most effective. That wasn't God's heart. You know what I'm saying? Nah. And like God had to really grow us up yeah. and show us like, okay, I want you to be able to, <laughs> uh, like, my word is offensive enough to people that ain't trying to hear nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you how to love people the right way. You know what I'm saying? How to use your music in a way that's going to, you know, actually help or inspire or, you know, cause them to ask questions. You know what I'm saying? It still might it still might offend you, but that ain't our heart behind it. Like we actually care. We're not rapping like I don't care how you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Like we actually want to make a difference. You know what I mean? I still kind of feel like that a little bit. <laughs> but yes, we we are we're definitely trying to we are we are not uh adding anything extra to it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, God had to take me through this whole process of just really showing me how to hone in on how uh, he wanted to use me lyrically, song-wise, you know, show me some other stuff, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's been an adventure, man, but we here now, you know what I mean? And the it's, it's bigger than rap, you know what I'm saying? It's always been bigger than rap, but now there's actual platforms that exist where we trying to jump into, you know what I mean? This being one of them, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, the way our personalities is set up, it's like people, we're entertaining, entertaining to watch because we don't know how to act. And most yeah. of the times we might say stuff that you shouldn't say. So Yeah, this will probably be the most personally informative video that we ever do. Yeah. <laughs> and this is this is mostly because we just of the fact. want you to know ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. So this this is not gonna be the norm. So yeah. <laughs> don't don't uh don't get used to it. We just feel like one, for the people that have been rocking with us, thank you. And you know, it's kind of an, a brief explanation on what's going on. Yeah, you know, where we've been. No, we're not dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, just just kind of doing it for them because I mean our supporters. The supporters we do have are hardcore, bro. Like every now and then people will pop up like out the woodworks, like, so what y'all got going on? And I'll be feeling <laughs> bad. So I'm like, man, I, I don't I I'll don't be scared. I'll be like, ah! <laughs> it's a ghost. They be coming out the to the woodworks, bro. Ah! Do, bro. ETE, they holding an old CD. Facts, bro. ETE. <laughs> like, yo, ah, what I'm like, dog, you missing pieces? I'm like, bro, I can get you another one, bro. Ah, like, I'm, I'm, ah, like, give me another one. I can drop box it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to hold on to the CD anymore, bro. We Dog. can update you. We still got all the files, man. <laughs> everything. Everything. I have I have everything. Yeah, this man here. Shout out to you, bro. 
Because you got the archives, dog. I'm just like, bro, you know me. I'm just like, for what? But now looking back, I'm like, somebody had to do it. Listen. I'm glad. Everybody. I have everything. <laughs> Don't come asking for it because I'm not giving it to you. But just know, I have everything. You know mm. what I'm saying? If you ever came through the studio... If you ever, if you, it don't matter if you didn't rap, if you rapped, if you wanted to try rapping, <laughs> if you built up your confidence, was like, let me see what I got. I got it. Oh, yeah. I got all of it. Uh huh. And it's going in a documentary one day. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You will not be getting paid for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I own the rights, the masters. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Basically, you just pulled a, a J on you, though. You know what I'm saying? But you'll be able to say, hey, that was me. Cool. <laughs> we'll just blur your faces out because we're not signing any photo or video releases. <laughs> so we can just go ahead and do that. All nice. names will be redacted and changed. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it at all. So hey, if you know, you know. That's where we've been. So this is where we're going. Right? Yeah. So obviously, if you made it this long, congratulations. You suffered through our babbling and our rambling. <laughs> about absolutely nothing. You were real one. Exactly. We might have a name for this by the time that this is posted. Hopefully. Because <laughs> I, 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 I don't Word. know. Yeah. Because our, our, the rest of the names we have are just kind of like, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, the, it represented the idea, but the word wasn't right. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but anyway, so yeah, like um, you had mentioned before, like we're definitely trying to get more into this space. Mm -hmm. Um, Basically, this is going to be utilized to kind of give you an update on what we're doing as we're doing it. Yeah. Um, The goal is to have this out weekly. So that way it's kind of like, okay, it's going to be, it's going to be some everything, but I mean, like you're going to see a lot of what we're doing music wise here. You're going to hear about it here first. Yeah. Um, You know, stuff that we're doing, we're going to talk about it here. Um. Yeah, any adventures we go on, mm -hmm. you know, we go on whatever it is, you know, D Faith goes hiking. I don't know. Exactly. Like, D Faith fights a bear. It's possible. Yeah. So our interests are varied. So I mean, you're gonna get some of everything here. Yeah. Like one week it could be about God, and next week it can be about guns. <laughs> yeah. So just hope before you throw us in the Christian rotation, if you're new to this. Oh, yeah. Just watch a little while longer before you make your decision. Yeah. You know? Because, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's not to say- We know. not for everybody. That's all I'm saying. There we go. You know what I mean? But for yeah. those that we for, mm -hmm. you going to love us. And we got you. So, you know what I mean? I feel like one of our goals, and this is my personal goal, you know, is that just to normalize what being a believer is. And that's what God kind of take me through. It's like, what you're doing is not normal life. Like yeah. your music should represent what re regular life is, what normal life is. Like this is what this should reflect. You know what I mean? So you're going to get that here. Like yeah. you're going to get regular life here. So, you know, some things might be about God. Some things might not. Like I said, God, guns, cars, marriage, yeah, and video we, games. And we like to have fun, man. Yes, bro. Like, that's it. Yeah. If you can't tell by now, like mm -hmm. we... We goofy, man. We love yeah. to laugh. We love to have fun. We don't try to take things too serious. Nah. Like, we just joy. Yeah. And listen. <laughs> joy, man. We, we talk about ourselves. We joke ourselves. Yeah. We joke our cultures. So please understand that you're not safe. <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> Nobody's safe. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time that if you're easily offended, this also is not the place for you. <laughs> you're going to have a very difficult time but, over time if you're easily offended being here. But we love you, though. We do. Genuinely. <laughs> we but do. You, you have the option to not subscribe, unfollow. You but do. please talk about us, though, so people come and see us so we get more views. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Please. I implore you. Talk all the trash you want about us. Try to cancel us. I've actually been waiting to be canceled to see if it's actually possible. <laughs> bro, you speaking <laughs> like, of They being, got canceled, but I'm right back. Hey, bro, I, the baby kind of successfully got canceled. Uh, I still, he, he's still out here working, so I don't, you know. Well, I guess in the respect of him being a headlining name. They going, all you got to do is, you know, the industry is funny, man. You do one thing that people jump back on and you write back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. He, you know I, mean? I, I don't know. They kind of, they was like, you not yay. Now, Adidas, on the other hand, they walked that back so fast, bro. When they seen what them quarterly losses was going on, <laughs> they was like, well, we can, it, it, a little racism is all right. Um, Kanye. <laughs> like, <laughs> when they seen them losses, that's how you, okay. This is just a little sidebar. Like I said, this is, again, it's not for everybody. Could be offended. I apologize. 
But bro, this is what I can't stand about corporations, bro, is the the disingenuous nature of a lot of them. Not all of them, oh, yeah. but a lot of them, bro. I'm like <laughs> phony, bro. So y'all want to scream and cry racism and cancel stuff. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as that money ain't looking right, <laughs> you're going to walk it back. I'm like, no, stand on it, yo. Yeah. If you were really upset about what Kanye said, Take stand on it. Take your losses. Exactly. And create another shoe. Y'all out here trying to work it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, man. If you're going to stand on the stand I on your own I think that too. he's remorseful. <laughs> uh, nah. That's stuff that they say <laughs> to the public. Boy. But you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy, man. Like, I don't know if y'all seen Raising Canaan. <laughs> but when some crazy happened, and basically my man uh uh Kanan's homeboy came out with a song called The Streets Need a Body. It's like that in the corporate world. Like <laughs> if you do something crazy and it comes out, they all they will give they just looking for a body. They're looking for somebody to appease the people, to blame. That's why they charge people money, all this crazy stuff, making apologize to a thousand radio stations and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they're just trying to appease you yeah. so they can get back to the green. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people be jumping out the window and be saying crazy stuff. So okay. I'm not justifying what they said. But I'm just saying that if you're going to stand on it, everybody needs to stand on what they're going to stand on. <laughs> but we just know it's not like that and people are fake and fake outrage. But I digress. So where we're going is, A, doing this podcast here this cesspool of random thoughts yeah you know, and that if you care about us enough <laughs> you'll sit through and watch um we definitely have more music coming out yeah that's like, a that fact. is 100 happening that's a fact so and the music that's out as we spoke about earlier dirty third we have to have a meeting about <laughs> so we can actually finish what we started what i started with that yeah. project you know what i mean <laughs> but if you want to listen to anything that's already out mm -hmm. we have two projects that mm -hmm. are currently streaming mm -hmm. on all platforms yep which is dirty 30 mm -hmm. and ete stage one yes and you have to type in ete stage one otherwise when you type in stage one sonic the hedgehog gonna <laughs> pop up like I was, I was like bro you know what uh, we got to find some better names. Yeah. <laughs> we have to find things that stand out. Yeah. We're going to come up with names like 6 ix 9 6 ix 9 was a genius. I don't know if he came up with the names, oh but he was gosh. a genius for just making up names that oh my God. it only exists he for was. whatever song that he created, yo. I feel, I actually think, if I remember right, they said they're all members of his gang or the gang he was affiliated really? with. Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah. So Gummo. Yeah. It's New York, bro. It's a different country. This is true. <laughs> so it's probably somebody out there thugging named Gummo, bro. You know what I mean? At least that's what that's what was said. I mean, who knows if it's true or not? People say anything, but that's yeah. that's what I understand it to be. Um, but yeah, we have um those two projects out. Um, Marchana Marie. <laughs> yeah. Yes, her project is gonna be fire. Like yeah. I can't wait for that. Yeah, she's been working hard every day. Yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna hit y'all by left field. That's gonna be completely different. Yeah, that's the that's the project that takes us out of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh uh, yeah, let's watch their podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> try to tell you exactly, man. So then also, you know, Theraflo, my wife, my better half, she's working on some stuff. Yeah. So we're getting it all done, man. Like you know, I'm I'm working a little bit. You know, what I'm saying a little bit. I'm tying up loose ends, creating some other ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, it's it's gonna we be. Stuff. We ain't gonna start. We ain't even gonna start, man. <laughs> we ain't even gonna start, man. If I get an idea, like, first of all, I don't know uh, what it is. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? That's been like brewing between us for years. But every time, bro, I might drop one song, you know what I mean? I get one idea, you know what I'm saying? And my man comes to destroy me, bro, before I can even get out. Do you? Do you? All right, my so man we, comes I just with need to know. a whole mixtape series, right album now? series. Yes, bro. Are we doing this right now? Yes, bro. We are? Because they need to understand who you are, bro. So, okay. <laughs> they need to know how you get down, bro. There's a project that I'm not sure if it's even out anymore called Lyrical Gunplay. I'm not sure. SoundCloud, baby. It's on SoundCloud? <laughs> One of the original SoundCloud rappers. <laughs> that was the other era we were supposed to make it out in and it did not happen. <laughs> but Lyrical Gunplay was d Fave's first mixtape by himself, right? He ain't want no collabos up there. He said, nah, I got something to say. <laughs> and he said everything. And if you go, if you, if you feel like going to SoundCloud to go listen to Lyrical Gunplay, you'll understand why I am the way that I am. 
because he always has to go above and beyond and do all this extra stuff. He's not going to tell y'all that he was on drugs the entire project. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, first of all, <laughs> look, this is what happened. Let me let me get a proper context. <laughs> Cause you're you're not you're wrong, but you're not a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? But basically, all right. So y'all y'all know the energy drinks. I was like drinking those. Like to do this mixtape, I had full throttles. And every time I had a full throttle energy drink, it was like Popeye getting the spinach. Like it, <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. I felt like I was Lil Wayne. Like, if you listen before every track or most of the tracks, you hear something, and that's me popping a can open. You remember how Lil Wayne was like sparking the lighter? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To smoke the blunt before he went in. I was popping a can. So that's how I felt. You know what I'm saying? So he's wrong, but technically. So we got a drug induced mixtape, <laughs> which was the hardest project I heard in my life <laughs> at the time. I'm like, bro. And I, I, so there was one track in particular called Mrs. Me. Now we've done, you know, like, you know, love tracks before, like, you yeah. know, type tracks. When I heard Mrs. Me, <laughs> I just looked at him. And I was like, because I'll, I'll never forget, we were sitting outside a crib in Sandbridge, yo. You know what I'm saying? And he plays Mrs. Me. And I just look at him. And I just look. And I look again. And I was like, this is my shit, bro. I was like, and I was, I couldn't believe it. Because I was just like, no. Because, all right, so I have a problem. I, I have very strong admiration for what my group members do. But at the exact same time, I don't like when people are better than me. <laughs> I have a, he's a natural I have, hater. I have a problem. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> naturally, like, you know, it's just the way he was born, he can't help that. I, I, I I've accepted him. I, you know I can't, <laughs> I can't. And this is what, this is what he was talking about earlier. I can't let it go. When yeah. somebody does something better than me, I can't let it go. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm about, I'm about to, uh, about to buy, <laughs> about to buy a car. I'm about to buy a helicopter, and I'm making a music video. I'm going to be on fire it's, it's and rapping problem. backwards. Listen, <laughs> it, it's a real problem that I've been working on. That's the, the monetary portion. <laughs> but my spirit is forever going to be ahead. <laughs> Yo, it's not going to change, man. Because I'm like, when people do something, it's like, I, it's just, it's like, it's so dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Marciana's project, like, yo incredible like the the production quality the actual sound quality sonically like it's it's incredible i can't sing so there's only but so much i can do to hate you know what i'm saying but you <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna catch everything that she's supposed to get that's what we doing exactly bro because i can't sing but you right y'all gonna be like man you sound like he dissing somebody it's me yeah he it's dissing me bro it's a group member bro <laughs> It be your own people, bro. It is, bro. But at least I don't make any qualms about it. At least you know. You know what I mean? See, yeah, I'd be I, wrong I if I ain't telling to his face that this is what was happening. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, but he good, knows. Though. He knows. And I'm like, I because I can't, bro. It's like, but you know, it's it's like they say, iron sharpens iron, right? Yeah, it makes it sharper, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it perturbs me deeply when I hear a track and I'm like, why did he go off like this? And I'm just like, now I have to, I'm like, because now I'm like, okay, <laughs> so what am I doing that? He's getting this and I'm not. I'm like, nah, bro. I don't I don't like it. So yep. he has he has something. I'm not quite sure what I've heard some of the beats though. And hearing his beats, I'm like, all right, this is what's causing me to be like, I need to go ahead and jump in the lab and do more because these beats are nasty. I already know what's coming. So I'm like, yep, I got work to do. So yes, we're going back to to complete dirty 30 and finish what that was supposed to be. Yeah. But I'm also working on another project because he has a project going. There's, there's, no other, there's no other reason why. There is zero other reason why except for that fact, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Gravity bomb, bro. You know what no, I'm saying? He, oh, he dropped the name. He dropped the name. <laughs> he got to get close to, <laughs> he goes to the mic. <laughs> Yo, he dropped the name on y'all, man. man. You heard it here first. Yeah, if you heard it. because <laughs> I don't know how long we've been talking. You don't got a timer up here? Oh, recording 49. Oh, we doing good. We're doing we good, good on time. All we things considered. Hour. Yeah. yeah, we got about 10 more minutes. You know, you know what I mean? I'm saying? 
but yeah, so that's that's kind of <laughs> that's basically what's happening this year. You know what I mean? Um, in a nutshell, as far as productivity wise. So also something that I've picked up along the way and something that we're both interested in um, is definitely film. So I actually have a yeah. media company. Um, the name is going to be changing um, just because I don't want the IRS to come and uh, jump through my window with stuff because <laughs> I'm putting everything under the same LLC <laughs> right now. And it, it looks a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? So if IRS, you're listening, you're not listening. But um, I'm going to get that fixed next year. But basically, we have an interest in video. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, you know, him more so on the directorial side of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the practical things like, you know, lighting, you know, stuff like that. Um, me more so like visual effects. Like, you know, but we both, we're both suckers for B-roll. Yeah. And like slow motion sequences. You know what I mean? Yeah. we <laughs> It got us, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we got the bug. Yeah. So you're going to be seeing a lot of like just random stuff that might not be even correlated to anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? For you're real. just going to get B-roll beauties just because <laughs> we can. And it's like, yo, yep. this is dope. You know what I mean? You might get some special effects stuff. Like, I don't yeah. know. I might turn this man into a superhero just for the sake of. Hey, and I'm with it. <laughs> exactly i'm with it you know what i mean like just this is stuff that we do like so this this is just gonna be a catch-all basically yeah for everything it is that we do everything it is that we like you know what i mean um including the people that we like yeah. you know um i don't know how we gonna finesse the situation but we gonna <laughs> if we have another person come through <laughs> You know what I mean? Put them on a bench. It's going to be like, <laughs> kind of like the basement. <laughs> yeah. Somebody going to pop up. Yeah. I wish. The pop-up days are gone, though. Because, you know, people <laughs> popping up. It was like, it was cool. But now it's like, it's weird when people ring your doorbell. Yeah. When people ring your doorbell now, you be feeling like, do I have to shoot somebody? Yeah. Whereas it's like, like it, ain't it crazy? Like, 10 years ago, it wasn't like that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like, who ringing my doorbell? I'll be like. like yeah. <laughs> hey, babe, who that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, I had to <laughs> I had to stop myself from yelling at the poor people that be coming trying to sell stuff <laughs> that knock on your door. It's like two of them. You know what I'm saying? They come up to your door and I just used to snap on them through the door. Get away from my door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Why? Because I ain't trust them, yo. I ain't trust them, man. <laughs> I used to oh snap. Oh my god. They'd be bro. like, oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're stressing them poor people out, bro. They're trying to get paid, bro. <laughs> They're trying to sell magazines. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, you going to get this magazine, bro. <laughs> no, bar See, y'all wonder why I'm coming out with a project because he say stuff like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? He just be saying stuff like that. Oh, you're going to get this magazine. <laughs> Metaphor. <laughs> Rappers. So, mm -hmm. stupid, man. So this is also going to keep us accountable to be fresh and buy clothes because you have to understand that we've been in the pandemic for what we were. I mean, we're out of it now, but it's been two and a half years of balling shorts and yeah. white tees with bacon collar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Faded black tees. Yeah. And it's been a struggle. I'm like, so this is what it means to be human. Like I'm, I had to actually put on real clothes for this. And it was like, oh, Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can't have bacon collar on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be in front of these people with bacon collar. Not like that. Yeah. You can't go out like that. <laughs> but bacon collar was comfortable, bro. <laughs> hey, for real. I feel like every man should have his, like, outfit for just straight lounging. It's, like, terrible, bro. Like, yeah. but, oh, you done slept in this shirt on team times. But the problem is that was all my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro. And before the pandemic, I was working on my wardrobe, bro. Yeah. I was like, yo, yup. Because again, dirty 30, bro. I was like, yeah. I thought I was about to be outside. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, build this up. And then it all stopped, bro. And it just all like, <laughs> when wow, it all, first, bro. When it all falls down. So I was just like, it's just sitting here now. <laughs> like, why is, why? Like, it's like, for what? We're going to get back to it, bro. Yeah. Well, now we're working on it, bro. I'm like, okay, slowly yeah. but surely, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going we gonna to get back. You know what I'm saying? I got a few things, you know what I'm saying? That's still, you know, <laughs> still, you know. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. But it ain't, it ain't like it need to be, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this summer's going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's fall, though. True. You know what I'm saying? Bird man, ostrich feathers. Yeah, it's nothing like hoodie season, man. It's nothing like hoodie season. Ha-ha. Bringing all the light jackets hoodie and all Hoodie season. That. You trying to say something, bro? I don't know. We'll, we'll, cross that, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But the summer is about to pop off. So, you know what I mean? A note about me and Spence's personalities. <laughs> Spence don't like a lot of things at once. Nah. 
<laughs> I, I, me? I'm like, bro, if it's three months away, I'll see it in three months. I'm I can't like, function. I just, I'm like, give it to me all now so I can sort it out. Because <laughs> I'm like, if you don't give it to me now, by the time it gets there, I'm going to be like, I don't want to do this. Bro, I'll be locking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, so what's your future plans? I'd be like, uh, uh make music <laughs> a year ago today and, uh, uh, and travel. Where you going? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. See, that's the beauty of it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you have you just have to know who you're working with, you know what I'm saying? Because we have we're very similar, but we're very different in a lot of ways. Yeah, like I am, I am under meticulous, like, I'm really kind of like certain things. I'm just kind of like, whatever. Like, I mean, it is what it is. It does it work? Okay, let's get it done. Whereas he'd be like, bruh, absolutely not. This is not acceptable. <laughs> and I'd be like, why isn't this acceptable? He's like, no, it needs to be. So it's great. His his over meticulous nature is excellent when it comes down to things that require that. Yeah. Like it is, I mean, it's no stone is unturned. Stuff looks good. It's great. It's amazing. Me, I'd be like a little bit of bacon cause all right. You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm you know like, what I'm it's never all right, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's never all right. But man. on the flip side, I'm just like, I'd be having to bring him back down sometimes. Cause I'm like, my nigga, yeah. I hear you, but you up here right now. Yeah. And everything else in life is right here. Bro. So we gotta be right here <laughs> to make it right here so bro. you can effectively utilize your personality. Look, and that's what it is. Once again, one of the many lessons that I had to learn. You know what I'm saying? How to thrive where you at. You know what I mean? Thrive, maximize where you at. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, like, well, for me, like, if I can't obtain what I want the way I see it, I'm like, well, it's not possible then. Or I don't want to do it. But it's like, nah. <laughs> you you have to do it, especially if you want to go to where you're trying to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. But... Hey, again, grow, learn, work. High five, dogs. We we grown a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this we've almost threw hands a few times. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like that's any relationship worth having, though. You know what I'm saying? Like especially as brothers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, the good news is, over the course of ten plus years, most of that stuff's been worked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get to know people, and it's just kind of like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Ain't me nothing by it. You know what I'm saying, or nigga just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know what I'm saying? You just had a lot going on today. You don't take things personally. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not that deep. It's never that deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta unplug for a little while, get your mind right, mm -hmm. and then jump back to it. It's exactly. all good. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like more rappers need to do that <laughs> instead of shooting each other. But that's a whole ah, other topic. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's very much another topic. Yeah, we don't got time to go into right now. But we got guns. <laughs> well, I got guns. <laughs> so you might see a few of those pop up here <laughs> every now and then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we can talk about that. Yes, sir. But we'll see how that goes. But anyway, enough rambling. So hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you understand that, hey, this is where we've been at. Hopefully I've actually been looking at the camera this entire time. And, <laughs> you know, it doesn't look I'm cross-eyed because I'm looking at the lens. But I don't know if the lens is looking at me. So we're just going to hope that it works. But if it doesn't, you're going to get it anyway. And, yeah. you know, like I said, by you'll see what the name is in the title by the time we post this. Because right <laughs> now, we don't have a name. <laughs> we're about to post it right now. <laughs> <laughs> the No Name Podcast. I bet you ain't no No Name Podcast out there. I feel... What, what is something else? <laughs> called no the name? Murphy, Murphy Lee, bro. What Boy, you said Murphy Lodge. Boy, don't speak that in the air, dog. Anything that can go wrong will, bro. The whole, <laughs> whole system blow up. Be like, what? Murphy. Mm. I wonder whatever <laughs> happened to Murphy Lee, bro. He was supposed to be like like their Lloyd Banks. I don't know, but what that hook gonna be was hard. That was they actually jam. had a um. He got featured on a. Uh, it's the show that like, where are they now? Yeah, I think I watched this episode. I know I watched Jaquan's episode. Yeah, they all need to come back. They do. <laughs> it was a good time. But anyway, we. Okay, so you see we get sidetracked easily. I get sidetracked <laughs> very easily. Ain't it? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, if you have ADHD, this is going to be perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, squirrel. But anyway, so yeah, we've been talking to y'all for about an hour now. You know what I mean? We're going to go ahead and depart. Yeah. Again, I'm, our goal is to have a name by the time that this is posted. So, mm -hmm. you know, when we post it, let us know if you're feeling the name or not. I mean, regardless, it's probably not going to change. But we do want to know. We do care. Yeah. 
For sure, man. So appreciate y'all rocking out with us, man. Yeah. This would be the time where we'd be like, yo, this is the such and such podcast. Yeah. Holler at us. It's about to be the such and such podcast. Such and such. Nah, we ain't gonna be such and such. I mean, <laughs> I feel like that's what we're talking about. <laughs> like you're such and I'm such. Such and such. Nah. I he don't said like the that. CJ and Smith, so hey, we should do Pastor Mo and his friend. <laughs> That's we'll we'll tell you about that on the next story episode. Story time, yeah, because yeah. we'll, we'll that, that is another reason why <laughs> we are no longer within the the establishment. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last straw, bro. We need a <laughs> we need a cartoon <laughs> illustration for that. Oh bro. my god, we do, bro. Duh, do you know how great you know how I do be doing with everybody in the studio? Oh my that god, that would be insane, bro. That would be hilarious. But uh, yeah, yeah. So we out. That is Holler it. at us, man. Get at us, man. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. Next video, we might even have a cool little intro. It might even be on this one. We might. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to see. <laughs> it's going to be us wearing the same exact thing we got on right now. <laughs> four, four episodes, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about my best friend.